Hi, Larry at Hagemeisters. Today we're going to be talking about the Pro Plug that we have. It's a real easy way to hook up your tow vehicles and your trailers uh, so that you can tow with them. And with the lighted circuits that it has, it's real easy to hook up. We'd like to show you that today. So this is what the kit comes with. It comes with an alcohol pad, a heat shrink, and some self-tapping screws, and also a grommet for your wire to go through the three choices you have in the box. One, two, three. So you pick where you want the wire to go. On the back of the box is a fully piece of uh, 3M adhesive so that you can uh, adhere it to wherever you're going to stick this box at. And that's the purpose for the alcohol pad, is to clean the surface before you glue it. We've made this right here for demonstration purposes. This is a receiver out of a vehicle. Could be Chevrolet, Ford, whoever. And this Pro Plug with the adhesive back will adhesive right to the receiver. This particular one is not screwed down. It simply used the adhesive. So you use the alcohol pad. You clean the surface. You get the box where you want it. And we recommend like a, like a spring-loaded clamp to go ahead and get it adhered on there and leave it for 15 minutes or so to make sure that's going to stay in place. So once a pro plug is installed and, and uh, it's ready to start wiring, you can remove the cap. And this is what you got inside. Here's your LED lights. Each one of those lights light up when the circuit is being completed. Uh, these two small screws here are real critical because if you need to turn off that LED light from the circuit of the vehicle, you just simply give that screw a quarter of a turn and it undoes the circuit. And the purpose for that is some of the late model vehicles can tell that that LED light is on and the instrument panel is showing you that it's simulated hooked to a trailer. But that's how we shut that circuit off is just simply turn that screw quarter turn. The old school way of doing it was hanging this plug somewhere under the receiver or somewhere which they could get torn off or bent or whatever and there's no lights in this to help you identify where to hook the wires in the back. And that's the, the great thing about this is that it's all wired to bulb so you can see what circuit you're on. So for example we've got this wired up and this is our test box. This text, test box is to basically walk out to a trailer, plug the trailer in and check uh, light circuits of the trailer. So let's turn this on and it's got us on the tail lights right here. We've turned on our, our power box and we're powering up the circuit just like the vehicle would do and we're on our running lights which is right here and you can see the bulb is lit. Now we're going to switch it to our turn. Okay there's our left turn. LTS left turn signal. As we work our way around the circuits, now we're going to put the brake lights on. And the brake lights are on at this time. Here's our right turn. There's our right turn circuit. And it's flashing. Next one is our 12 volt auxiliary power supply to the trailer. So our power supply to the trailer, charging a camper battery or a, some kind of a device that you might have on your trailer and that's indicated by battery. Our last circuit in the box is our backup lights and that's shown right there. So this is a trailer test plug and basically you plug it in your vehicle and you can read if your circuits are working properly. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay so here's your test plug plugged into the vehicle and there's our tail and marker lights now we're going to do the left turn again. There's our brake lights. There's our right turn. There's our electric brakes for the trailer. There's our 12 volt supply to the trailer. And there's our backup lights. So that's a quick test plug to check your vehicles with. In the testing we just did, we showed that this was our vehicle and our vehicle was supplying power 
using our test light circuit with our plug-in and we showed you how all the circuits work. Now we're going to demonstrate how this pro plug works on your trailer. You can put one of these on your trailer and there's several benefits doing so. Number one, there's not a cord on the trailer anymore and it makes it a little tougher to steal the trailer if somebody were stealing it because there's no cord on the trailer, you have that. And so when this is mounted on the trailer, you can simply plug it in here and plug it in your vehicle and you're set to go. If the cord got broke or lots of folks have came unplugged and drug it down the road and they're out there trying to put a new end on it, we recommend just keeping a spare cord and you can change the cord and just keep on going. Let's demonstrate how that works. Now we're gonna demonstrate that uh, this is your vehicle and this pro plug is on your trailer. This is a typical uh, five foot cord, which is average length. They can be longer or shorter. But so we just plug this into the vehicle and then we go ahead and plug this into the trailer. Now we'll do our circuit test that way. We can bring all of our trailer wires into here and hook them up accordingly. So now I'm simulating that our power box has got a cord running back to running the trailer lights. So there's your tail and marker, your left turn, your brake lights, right turn, electric brakes, your 12 volt supply, and your backup lights. And I need to mention also that on this panel is your ground here on the end. The white one is your ground. Again, back to the Phillips screw here on the, on the printed circuit panel. These LED bulbs are just for testing the circuit and making sure you got everything hooked up right. So for example, when you got the 12 volt circuit hooked up, the bulb is on. And then of course your electric brake light is here. And those two bulbs, if you want to shut those off, has absolutely nothing to do with the completed circuit, that's fine. But if you want to disable the bulb, you just give that a quarter turn. Now the bulbs are disabled, but the circuit is not interrupted. It doesn't do anything like that. It just disables the bulb, so there's no parasitic drain from the LED bulb. We feel that this uh, Pro Plug assembly is very easy to use, and as we demonstrated today, it's easy to put on, easy to run your circuits. If you like this product, you can find out more from the description below.